COVID-19 yeni nai. And so adia chi adia sanyo my cases. Kwa ena air cost where cost was a. And to move isase apu mdini me for den ena moye. Say that Obuasi is one area that has a lot of population. So the, the population density is very high. It's one area that though Angura Shanti has um, um, a prominent hospital, but they don't have a treatment facility. So Boise does not have a treatment facility. Then we also see that, I mean, when we went there, though it was a cultural survey, what the most was obvious was that you do not see people wearing face masks. So it tells me really that there's a challenge about how they prevent disease in Oasin. Then they do also do not have a clean facility. So if you have a, a community that's such high risk of persons who are infected and there's no place for them to kind of um, to hold, then it probably predisposes you to the high rate of infection that pertains in Obuasi. So I want to put on record that apparently Obuasi is working as a joint community. They have Obuasi Municipal and Obuasi East. For this outbreak, they are joint. So it's entered at the level of the assembly, is joined at the level of even the health sector. So there's a bit of collaboration in that perspective. They even have um, what they call the COVID-19 um, center. It's actually a control room put in place by Anglo Good Ashanti. So coordination purposes, they have that facility in place. And you can see that um, there are uh, records. There's a lot of activities that are taking place before uh, this spike. But let me say that I think the late release of the results took them by surprise. So they had a clear shared um, system, but were not aware that they have this quantum disease sitting in that community. Um, for the 695 positive cases, the result that has come is that 624 are negative and 07 are positive. So it tells you that 95% of the people who were positive are now negative. So now we are trying to move the 7 to our Isolation Center in um, Pentacles facility. But let me say that these are all asymptomatic um, um, persons. And um, what we are doing is that if you look at um, these 695 persons, they were scattered across um, Accra. So you know, all of them do not live in Tema. So you have they living in Asaima, uh, Lejukuku, and the rest. So what that is that we have reallocated to their districts to identify the contacts and, and do the follow-up. So that's, that's being done. But then um, we, we, we try to look at the tree. So what is being done at the factory? And um, we visited the factory to assess what measures put in place to avoid spread. And then what is very obvious is that hand work facilities have been placed at the entrance of each section. So there's a conscious effort to ensure hand washing. Then they've tried to put floor markings. The idea is to ensure physical this so you can see where you are supposed to stand. So there yeah, is a factory. So they yeah, tell you where to stand. You do not tell you, you do not decide where to stand. They put um, their markings to ensure there's a physical presence, physical this. Then all staff are wearing the face mask. Then hands, hand sanitizers in place at all vantage points. Then um, the, the canteen that I said was a table that houses six people. Now they are housing two. If you recall, it should be three because it's a, it's, it, can, it can take three. So they are ensuring the uh, um, distance now. And then they, they have created a holding room um, to handle a suspected COVID. So in that case, if you, if you think that it could be a case, you usually move there before actions are taking place. Then they've also introduced a temperature tech point um, at the entrance of the, of the company. So in that perspective, that the, 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 the factory is ready to start operations.